Hey, what's happening, Wargamers? It is another video uh, coming at you this week, and we are taking a look at another product. And I am excited because this week I was actually able to get my hands on one of the uh, McFarlane Artist Proofs Space Marines. So, unlike normal uh, unboxings, you know, where there's a little bit more to unbox with this, uh, we're just going to be opening it up, going to be taking a quick look at it, and, you know, just seeing what it's like. So this is probably going to be a little bit of a shorter one, uh, but I'm, I'm kind of excited to have gotten my hands on this, because uh, back in September... Uh, after I put a pre-order in for for the um, for the uh, the marine and everything, unfortunately I got um, I got the notice that uh, my pre-order was being cancelled. So unfortunately, uh, I was not able to get my hands on it. And you know, I wanted to do a whole series on this thing, as as many people at the time did, but was unable to do so. But things have changed. I was actually able to find one uh, sort of locally. So it was a place in Ontario that I was able to hunt one down. Uh, but anyway, yeah, very, very pleased to be able to get my hands on it. And I gotta say, you know, ever since ever since I was younger, the McFarlane uh, line of toys have always been kind of impressive. So let's just see. I'm just trying to get this out here without... Huh. What is it stuck on? There we go. That's what's going on here. So the, the McFarlane toys were always very impressive. I still remember early on, like the the early Spawn toys, uh, which were uh, which were always really neat. They were highly sought after uh, by people in my in my circle of uh, friends. Uh, so they were always kind of cool to see. So it's kind of interesting to to see what it is like uh, these days and uh, what the McFarlane toys are now sort of looking like. So let's take a look at this guy here. So right off the bat, oh, let's get another plastic here. There's just so many little ties here. All right, very well packaged. There we go. Okay. So right off the bat, gotta say I, I like I like the feel of it. It's got a nice durable feel to it. I like the f yeah I like the fact that there's gonna be some uh, some guide points here for it to go in. There are a couple uh, points to it, like uh, mostly like around the around the vents on the backpack here, where it's not quite straight. I might have to get in there and do a little bit of shaving on it just to make sure that it uh, it doesn't uh, come out weird in the paint job. Let's take a look at the, at the bolt gun here, or the bolt rifle, I guess this is. There we go. Everything's nice in there. And the details are actually quite good. I, I love the size to it. I love the heft of it. Uh, yeah, just really, really kind of nice in that regard. And it's going to actually be a lot of fun to paint. We're going to be able to get in there and uh, get some details that we wouldn't otherwise normally be be painting up, which is always kind of cool. Because, I mean, the, the new Primaris Marines are nice for that. They're they're definitely a lot more painter-friendly than the older first one Marines. But one second, let's get this cracked open here. Oh, he's stuck in there. Okay. Oh, missed a piece. Okay. There we go. Alright. Let's get rid of that bad plastic there. So the model itself actually has a really nice heft to it. And actually quite a nice bit of posability. The, uh, all the joints seem to uh, move really nicely like there doesn't really seem to be a lot of resistance to it which is kind of cool i'm gonna have to look into see how uh how to dismantle it to make it easier to paint yeah because i don't want to just start go uh oh let's see here okay so it looks like a lot of the stuff just comes out through a ball joint there yeah so you can see the uh, the socket right there the ball joint so that's actually going to be really nice and easy to oh that's beautiful yeah, because I was actually a little concerned with um, with how to go about painting this. I wonder if the arms come off as well. I'm not going to go and start yanking at them just yet. But uh, the more stuff I can I can remove from the bowl joint, the easier it'll be. But I, I got to say, this is probably one of the best representations of a Space Marine, at least proportion-wise, that I've been seeing. It doesn't kind of look funky. The boots seem a, uh, like a little big, but that might also just be the shin pads. Yeah, you know, I think that's just the shin guards and the knee guards right there. Uh, but in general, it's it's actually quite nice. It has a good durable feeling. Um, 
it would be really interesting, and unfortunately not something I'm able to do, but it would have been very interesting to compare it to the um, to the Bandai Marine that came out uh, about a year or so ago, uh, just to see what that one was like and see how it sort of like stacks up to uh, to this one as, as far as quality goes. I seem to be having some problem getting the getting it back in the ball joints here. There we go. I like that even the shoulder pads are a little bit uh, a little bit uh, movable here, just to give a little bit more. Uh, there we go. I think I got both pieces back in there. Overall, like yeah, the the poseability is quite nice. You get a little bit of resistance at the the knee joint there. You can kind of I don't know if you can hear it or not, but uh, you can hear there's a it almost seems like there's a little bit of a gear that's being uh, being grinded in there. But uh, yeah, the ability to kind of give them a, a whole bunch of different poses is very nice and it feels durable on top of that like it doesn't feel like cheap posability now it would have been kind of nice if, if either hand could have supported the uh the bolt rifle here uh, let's see here yeah because it looks like uh it looks like it's pretty much designed just to go in the, the one hand here and be supported by be supported by this one over here but overall it is quite nice and let's see yep so that fits in nice and snugly as well I got to say, like once once everything is ready to go on this guy and he's, he's ready to just be sort of on a table somewhere or on a shelf um, just to be just to be on display, I think it's going to be quite nice. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to paint him up uh, in the Imperial Fist colors. Uh, the Fists have always been one of my one of my favorite of the uh, the first founding uh, chapters, legions as it were. Um, I, I always enjoy the challenge of painting yellow. So I think having a nice big canvas like this is going to be really good for that one. But uh, anyway, yeah, so this is the, the McFarlane Space Marine, the uh, the Artist Proof one. Uh, we are seeing a couple more Artist Proof uh, models as well as McFarlane models coming around. I believe there's um, a couple more Space Marines. There's a Sister of Battle, which hopefully my pre-order for that, the Artist Proof on that one doesn't get canceled because I would very much like to have that one. But uh, yeah, for, for the collectors and the hobbyists out there, for anyone looking for kind of an interesting, uh, interesting paint job and they just, you know, they enjoy painting Power Armor or Space Marines, this seems like it's definitely worthwhile to grab. Uh, I, I know the artist proofs are a little bit tricky to come by these days, and I don't know if that's a production issue or if that's an issue with, you know, maybe it was a limited run or anything like that. But, uh, you know, if it, if it is something you're able to get your hands on, I, I definitely recommend it. Because uh, I think there's a lot of good painting opportunities here. Only a little bit of cleaning, not a whole lot. But, uh, yeah, the the fact that it's, it's very posable... Uh, means that you can sort of like get them in whatever uh, whatever position you want and the details are just nice and crisp there's there's not a lot of extra stuff um, but it wouldn't be too hard to to print out like extra purity seals or something like that to go on to it uh, but yeah in in general I, I think this is a project that I'm looking forward to I don't know uh, how often I'll be able to give it some uh, give it some love but ooh, even the feet uh, that's nice so yeah even the even the feet can be positioned uh, in various ways but uh, yeah, so I have myself a nice little project over the next, uh, next little while. So yeah, the McFarland Space Marine, uh, this is the artist proof one, definitely worth getting your hands on. Even uh, even one of the colored ones could probably be uh, repainted easily enough. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I, I like the product. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get some more new content to you soon. Right now, obviously, things are tricky with uh, the COVID situation, but hopefully things will be, uh, will be getting a little bit better with that one soon. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a comment and a like below. And as always, we will see you next time. Happy Wargaming.